Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on testing. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Hey kids, welcome to the germ and booger infested playground at Mega King Burger. We're gonna climb the nets, play in the ball pit, and fervently hope that that's a chocolate bar on the tube slide. This is the intrarenal acute kidney injury video. So we're gonna cover the most common causes of direct injury to the renal tubules, interstitium, and papillae. Remember that glomerular damage has its very own video. As you recall from our intro to AKI video, serum and urine labs help distinguish pre-renal from intrarenal causes. Intrarenal damage means the kidneys can no longer appropriately hold on to sodium, water, and urea, leading to salty, watery urine and a low serum BUN to creatinine ratio, which is the opposite of what you see in pre-renal AKI. The most common cause of intrarenal AKI is acute tubular necrosis, or ATN, symbolized by this tube slide. The two primary mechanisms are ischemia and nephrotoxins, both of which cause necrosis, i.e. death, of epithelial cells that line the renal tubules. That's why this tube slide is looking a bit cracked and crusty. So how do you know if it's ATN? Stick a couple whiz under the microscope, of course, where you'll see muddy brown casts made up of clumps of dead tubular epithelial cells. These tube-dwelling turds should make it impossible to forget that muddy brown casts are pathognomonic for ATN. So ischemia means decreased blood flow, represented by these narrowing red pipes supporting the tube slide. But wait, wouldn't that technically be pre-renal AKI? Well, in pre-renal AKI, decreased blood flow causes decreased glomerular filtration. But if it's severe or prolonged, that's when tubular cells start kicking the bucket and you've moved into intrarenal AKI territory. Of note, NSAIDs can increase the risk of ischemic ATN because they constrict afferent glomerular arterioles. Nephrotoxins, meanwhile, go in and directly shank tubular epithelial cells. Aminoglycosides are the most notorious offenders. That's why this psi wielding weeb is stabbing his brother right in the kidney wing. You may remember such aminoglycosides as amikacin, gentamicin, and tobramycin. <laughs>